perfect timing as well as the utility exchange and bullets exchange actually it's doing to draw blood quick response though breezy catching a leash as he battled for some early control in middle these is wide open and actually there's an investigation on its way there in the meantime though a double kill from Tarek. He's looking for more, and the flash is so damn good. So many multi-kills, it could be another. Catches a glimpse oh! of now from Tarek. He finishes it with style. The big green and a big round. 15 now to 13 as they continue. So it's going to be Cirque taking him down. They've got the advantage. The problem is Alex Shaw. They have a five on four, but you've got no utility now. The best you can do is really hope for a contact play. And they're going to walk in towards Bebo, looks of things. But there's a nice crossfire set up. The rifles are ready and waiting. Stewie should be able to find a couple of kills here, but that Galil could be dangerous. It's really on to Tarek. He could be the linchpin in success, but unfortunately for them, his team has just been massacred. A spray through the smoke, and it's Naf and Stewie just running this show in the first three rounds. That's three B finishes coming out from EG's first T side calls, and every single time really damage done to his partner, it would be a solo hold at this point. Perhaps a flashbang, yep. Well, we start to flying in the sky. Tarek to at least investigate. Sees one jumping away. A quick adjustment. Leash gone. Spots another before getting away safely. They do manage to equalize Henry. That is more than they could have possibly asked for. Sirk does manage to respect the flash, but Breezy's not going to find anything. Only the one. Nitro, two into the A site, and now it's wide open. Stanislaw and Tarek to save the day here. I don't think they stand much of a chance. They couldn't be further away if they tried. It is going to be 16 to 4 by the looks of things here. And they'll give it their best shot, but they've only got a couple of diffuse kits. Low HP on these two players. Remember, they're the ones who got absolutely wrecked at the start of this round from the AGs and the Molotovs, of course. Just a formality now as we wait for this one to conclude. As at this stage, it should be quite a simple shot for Nigel. He nails it. Tarek, same position and likely the same outcome. Indeed it is. Nitro to close things out. What a dominant performance that was from Team Liquid. These guys are back. They are well trained and they are looking hot. They are looking poised to make a very deep run here. Flash doesn't stop Tarek keeping him safe. Another nade added to the mix, which does keep things level. Damn, that is a nasty way to go about starting a round for EG, especially already 4-0 down. Yeah, while smokes have been exchanged towards B, they've got banana control, but it cost them so much HP at this point. Orb set up towards the coffin position. That'll be in the hands of Nitro. Very well versed in the defensive sniping, that's for sure. Waiting for a boost. But at this point, what's the next move? You've got two smokes, make it three, which is a single flashbang. So they've deployed one of those already. I think that was towards middle. So you're just going to try and suggest, well, maybe we're going with some mid control here, but it's be another B finish, but only one player waiting for them. Nitro with the AWP, smoked out, has to reposition. And he'll go towards new boxes. I feel like a lot of the success that Liquid have had on B so far was down to the supportive flashbangs. Yeah. We saw even another one going towards pool from Nitro last round. Now, I feel like Nitro could be in a spot of bother. Naf does arrive exactly when he needs to at three. EG doesn't look good so far. Through the flames, Breezy will go. He's segregated from his teammates now as Zerg will have to hold up with the Krieg. That confirms that at least two players in that position. They've got the man advantage in a five on four. Can fall back and focus their efforts elsewhere now. As long as they haven't got a long control at the very start, it's unlikely they'll challenge for that once again. Mid seems to be the go-to plan here. EG looking for potential B split. We'll see if that works out for them. The grenade certainly does. It does about 100 damage there towards Short. Ethan and Tarek licking their wounds after that one. Oh, Elise, what a nade. I'm sure we'll get that one in the replay because that was gorgeous. Locks them down and softens them up. There isn't any CT utility left. They are going to be walking into this one. And it's time for Nav to receive. However, quick drop, quick flick response. And a gap to exploit as well here from Nafly. He's got the double zoom. Doesn't hit the shot, though. And now being pressured. Still more damage. Chipping away at Stan Ooh, as he, he Oh, he gets it. Just before death finds him. He finds Ethan in the round. They really have an ideal setup on the T side. We'll see if they can make it work. That's in the hands of Stan for now. That all positioning has been brutal oh. for them. It's a collapse once again as Nafly gets three kills in total. That's unbelievable. So neat and tidy. Quick succession. No worries. He didn't look like he had a sweat on his brow. Yeah, most Orpers would get those first two kills for him. That's enough. I'm going to fall back here, take the advantage, but not Naf. He gets three. Every shot connects there, and he'll be looking for a bit more, I'm sure. Stanislaw and Breezy. With the lesser of the rifles to try and pull this one back. Naf will on get his ace. fourth on for the ace. As Stanislaw cowers in the corner right now. Just trying to avoid Naf if possible. And it's a very, very clean round there as Liquid continue their dominance here in this best of three. 2 0 just looks like it's got ridden all over uh, the walls. Generic question time. Yeah, go uh, for it. How much of this is getting a kill here? Well, clearly high because he's done it. 
Shuts down Twists before the trade could come in, and now another Dink, this time Nitro. Chip down to 37. I'm, I'm giggling because this shouldn't really make too much of a difference, but now the CT frags are coming in, two of them oh. to be specific. Stewie in response as he's panicking. He's got all <laughs> five, an ace from Stewie2K. But my God, did things start to spiral just a little bit? A flurry of frags, two of them from USPs. That was big. What a great pounce that was from the CT side. It looked Not like this like four this. and two was going to be enough, but now the bomb is being planted. Two versus four, now level. Stewie and Elige, they've done some of the dirty work and now Stan with a bit of wet work. Does find the frag, puts it all onto Stewie to close this out to avoid overtime. He knows one long. One coming from CT and Hoh even predicting the jump. They line up, but Stewie, he's not interested in overtime. They'll do it. One versus two. He's got 2K in his name, and it's exactly what he delivers. Exactly. That's